So, uh, so I've been uh, dating a lot of different guys lately, and I think I finally narrowed down my type. Unemployed. <laughs> yeah, I realized if you don't have a job, you have a chance with me. If you're not paying your bills, I'm paying attention to you. <laughs> and if you're sleeping till noon, you're gonna be sleeping with me. <laughs> Get it? The great thing about dating a lot of different guys, though, is you only really need one good outfit. You know what I mean? I wore it on all my first dates. It's kind of like a uniform. In fact, I'm wearing it now, so. <laughs> Things are going good. Um, I like to work out, but I feel like within every type of workout, there's a group of people that just take it way too far. You know, like yoga people. They're nuts. Like I walk into my yoga studio and the teacher's in the lobby just talking about normal Hollywood girl stuff. Like, I don't know, boob jobs, diet pills, and Channing Tatum. But the minute she walks into the yoga studio and turns down the lights, she turns into like Mother Earth. It's so weird. I mean, literally, she's out there like, I don't know, so I posted a picture on Instagram and it only got 12 likes. Do you think I'm ugly? She walks into the yoga studio and all of a sudden she's like a guru. She's like, hello, my children. I don't know what brought you here, but I'm happy you're on this journey with me. I'm like, what are you seeing? That doesn't even sound like you. You're not even a good actress, that's weird. And she just says the weirdest stuff too. The other day she was like, today we are in a Zen mood and we're in a maze and there's a baby crying in the corner and a man is prancing towards it. I told that to a friend, he was like, she just described the plot to Labyrinth. I was like, oh. Another time she was like, today we're on a flying dog to freedom. We're flying on a large dog of our emotions to freedom. I was like, that's the never ending story. Now I'm on to you, you're just thinking of 90s movies and saying them. I swear. The other day she was like, close your eyes, picture yourself in a very bright room. There are many uh, scented candles that smell of cinnamon and many fabrics that are soft to the touch. I was like, that's the Bed Bath & Beyond in Sherman Oaks. Now you're just making me mad. Now you're just thinking of things and saying them. Eat some meat, I don't know. <laughs> CrossFit people are the worst though. Oh, CrossFit people. And they're always posting like their CrossFit wounds on social media, like their bloody knuckle that they're really proud of. And they're like, hashtag fitness, hashtag getting in shape, hashtag bleeding out, hashtag motivate. No, bleeding out shouldn't be a hashtag. Like that's, that's not a thing. You shouldn't be proud of that. And they don't do like normal workouts. They're not like today we're gonna go jogging and then do some push-ups and then run up some stairs. They're like, no, today we're gonna roll a boulder up a hill and then we're all gonna carry it down. Is it a biblical workout? Will Noah be there with an ark? I don't understand. So weird. Um, I'm an actor and uh, there's a website for actors that like, List your resume, basically. It's called IMDb. List your photos and all your credits. But general users can also create lists of like their favorite movies or their favorite action stars or whatever. I got a notification the other day that I made a list. I was so excited. So I told all my friends, I was like, you guys gotta look at this. It's called 963 of the Hottest Women of Hollywood. I was like, hells yeah, that's awesome. Because I have a few credits, but there's no reason why anyone should know me. So my friend calls me and she was like, Rachel, I don't think you want to be on there. I was like, what do you mean? She was like, you were number 900. I was like, so I'm still on a list. This is awesome. Things are going well. She was like, no, you got to look at this. Um, so I looked at the list. Uh, first of all, it was created by 2 Chainz fan, 1994. <laughs> but whatever, I'm sure he's cool. Um, I was indeed number 900. Precious was number 48. Precious beat me by 852 people? My one optimistic friend was like, wait a minute, Rachel, which Precious? I was like, what do you mean? There's only one Precious. Precious of Precious fame. Not even joking. 200 people above me was Danny DeVito. The guy who played the penguin, who played Matilda's father in Matilda, beat me by 200 people. I swear, the girl directly above me at 899, was the makeup artist for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. She didn't even have a photo. It was
was just one of those gray blobs. So a ghost person beat me. I swear, 2 Chainz fan was just like, I don't know, I'm gonna click and make people think they're awesome and then hurt their feelings later. Uh, today was weird. I, uh, it's a really weird morning. So I'm walking through a parking lot and this stranger comes up to me and she asks me to watch her baby while she runs into the store. And I was so flattered because that means she thought I looked sober. <laughs> awesome. Uh, speaking of babies, I've been noticing that a lot of my friends have been having babies on like Instagram and not like birthing them on Instagram. I know it sounded like that. And at first, it seems like it's all about the baby. Uh, you know, it's just, just so happy. There she posts a photo. It says like December 12th, 2013. Gave birth to my main man. man. Hashtag blessed, hashtag joy. <laughs> hashtag mama's tired. I was like, all right, I liked it. I was like, okay, you had a baby. We're all happy for you, right? But then I realized as time goes on, having a baby is just an excuse to take a selfie. Because at first it's all about the baby, but then as time goes on, the baby starts to move further and further out of frame. Like the next photo, she's on the beach in a bikini, like posing. The baby's in the far corner of the photo with its face in the sand. She's like having the best day at the beach with Joshua. Hashtag endless summer. Hashtag blessed. Oh. Pretty soon the baby's not even in frame. She's just holding a hand. There's just a baby's hand right there and she's just giving duck face. But I got jealous because I like to take a lot of selfies because I'm vain. But people think you're, you know, totally, you know, insecure and crazy when you do that, right? So I was having a particularly good Tuesday so I just like took someone's baby. <laughs> Hashtag kidnapped. <laughs> All right, that's my time, guys. Thank you.